New footage for Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer was screened at CinemaCon during the Universal Pictures presentation, and according to reactions and footage descriptions, it sounds really exciting. The new footage itself apparently promises a visceral and tense cinematic experience, with standout performances from Killian Murphy and the rest of the huge cast in the director's latest film. Alongside this, Nolan himself revealed a time frame for the next trailer, and and shared new details about the upcoming movie. In this video, I'm going to be discussing what was shown and sharing the reactions for the new Oppenheimer footage. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my future content surrounding Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, then don't forget to support this video by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. But without further ado, let's dive into the new footage for Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, shown at CinemaCon. So Christopher Nolan was on stage at CinemaCon yesterday, showing some new footage from his latest film, which tells the true story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the American theoretical physicist who helped create the atomic bomb. The film is being adapted from Kai Bird and Martin Sherwin's book American Prometheus, and apparently the new footage was really convincing and displayed the tense and epic nature of Nolan's biopic film. When the filmmaker came on stage, he apparently received a big applause from the audience, which included a lot of movie theatre owners, and he began to speak about what's in store for us with his new project. The filmmaker talked about the film's protagonist making decisions that still affect us to this very day, and mentioned that the scale of his new movie is going to be through the roof. He said, I know of no more dramatic tale with higher stakes. Picture the finest minds in the country in a desperate race with the Nazis to harness the power of the atom. Like it or not, J. Robert Oppenheimer is the most important person who ever lived. He made the world that we live in for better or for worse, and his story has to be seen to be believed. His story is both dream and nightmare, and I'm hopeful audiences will come to theatres to see it on the biggest screens possible. In learning about that story, I wanted to be there in that room with them and see what that must have been like. I wanted to take the audience there. To do so, I've assembled the most incredible cast and the finest technicians. He did also mention that several sections of the film are shot in black and white, including an extended sequence with Robert Downey Jr., although he revealed that there's not too much black and white in comparison to the amount of colour. After this opening speech by the director, it was then time to reveal 5 to 10 minutes of new footage, and according to descriptions, it began by focusing on the moment when Oppenheimer knew that testing the bomb might ignite the atmosphere and destroy the world, a reflection of what Einstein said to Killian Murphy's character in that IMAX trailer we saw a few months ago. There's currently three brief descriptions online from different sources, so I'm going to quickly quote what was said by each of them. Starting with DiscussingFilm.net, they said that the footage includes Killian Murphy, Robert Downey Jr., Matthew Modine, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon, Josh Peck, and more of the film's ensemble cast, as they go back and forth debating and arguing over the ethics of creating the world's first atomic bomb. They say that the footage switches between black and white and colour, with the testing and creation of the bomb being in colour, and political table meetings being in black and white. So that's pretty much what a lot of us predicted before, and it definitely highlights the different angles to this story and the likely subjective versus objective approach that Nolan loves to focus on. Discussing Film also said that Oppenheimer's main motivation is to beat the Nazis in creating the ultimate weapon, but it questions at what cost. They say that the IMAX aspect ratio makes a clear difference in telling this story, with even the most intimate conversations being felt in their intensity. So that could suggest that Nolan with his new black and white cameras has managed to capture dialogue scenes in IMAX, something that was a big problem before. They further stated that the sound design was also immense and felt throughout, solidifying Oppenheimer as a big screen experience. 
Moving now to Variety's description, they noted that both the colour and black and white footage highlighted the impeccable production design and that they got shown a gaunt looking fedora wearing Killian Murphy having the haunted air of a man who unleashed nuclear power. They say that there were scenes of the physicists team engaged in the top secret work of bomb making but the movie also spins forward in time to a point where Russia has developed its atomic energy, triggering suspicions of espionage at Los Alamos. And to be honest, this is exactly the sort of focus that the book also highlights throughout its pages, showing the turn in Oppenheimer's mindset both before and after the eventual Trinity test. If you remember, I've spoke previously about how I think Nolan will intercut the bomb's development in colour with the political trials in black and white throughout the film, and this description does really link into that approach and again reminds us of the narrative structure in say memento which was one of the director's first films furthermore the last description came from the hollywood reporter and in their article they talked about that black and white sequence a bit more and how the thriller aspects of the story have been ramped up and done well in typical nolan fashion they said the footage showed that nolan had turned the historical story into a thriller with what he described as the highest stakes imaginable a key point comes when robert downey jr's character holds a meeting and delivers the news that the Russians are on the path to the bomb and suggests that there was espionage under Oppenheimer's watch. He says, the Russians have a bomb, we're supposed to be years ahead. They also mention that at one point in the footage, Oppenheimer grapples with the ethics of creating the bomb, saying, I don't know if we can be trusted with the weapon, but I know the Nazis can't. So it looks like they got a collection of new footage from different moments in the story and it really showed off the precise editing between different sequences and as the reactions will highlight, the excellent use of visuals, dialogue and sound. Coming to those reactions, according to those who saw the extended footage at CinemaCon, this could be Christopher Nolan's best film in years. Apparently, the performances of the cast and Ludwig Göransson's score are some of the striking elements that stood out, and multiple viewers made that clear. Jeff Snyder said, Just got an extended look at Oppenheimer, and I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but this could be the one for Nolan. I think it looks amazing. He's putting the sci-fi stuff aside to focus on a true story featuring real science. Amazing cast, love the score. Nolan's goal is to put you in the mind and in the shoes of a man who was in the middle of some of the most important decisions and moments in modern history. Oppenheimer's story offers no easy answers, but it offers interesting and fascinating paradoxes. In that previously mentioned Variety article, they also called the new Oppenheimer footage nail-biting and said it's one of the most ambitious big studio summer releases in years, focusing on a scientific development that reshaped the course of history. Aaron Couch also noted that the look at Oppenheimer they got was absolutely gripping and a lot of the fun is seeing these A-list actors turning in character actor performances and disappearing into these roles. Eric Davis put, we just saw an extended preview of Oppenheimer, which was maybe the most intense thing I have watched here so far. Pure tense drama, beautiful photography, switches between colour and black and white. Score is great, sound is huge, can't wait for more. David Howart also said, Christopher Nolan introduces a much more story-focused teaser for Oppenheimer, which unsurprisingly looks stunning. Very emotional, gripping stakes, also features featured new looks at Emily Blunt, Florence Pugh, Benny Safdie, Robert Downey Jr. and more. Andrew Salazar said, Oppenheimer sizzle could be Nolan's best since inception. And finally, ERC wrote, Nolan's Oppenheimer is going to blow up. But you knew that, new footage is remarkable, as expected, box office gonna go boom. So they were the reactions and details on what was shown at the event, and before I end this video, it's key to point out that there was also one more interesting piece of news that was shared towards the end of the panel, and that was to do with the next trailer. 
Nolan said to those in attendance, I can neither confirm nor deny that we'll have a new trailer out next week with Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So it looks like the Oppenheimer trailer will release before or on next Wednesday in time to be shown with Guardians 3 and those who do go to watch the film in IMAX will most likely get to see it in all of its glory. Something to note is that in the Warner Brothers panel from the other day, it was mentioned that the Dune Part 2 trailer would be released in the next two weeks and Guardians 3 seems like the most likely film to show it in front of. So basically we could be getting an Oppenheimer trailer and a Dune Part 2 trailer both in front of Guardians of the Galaxy 3. If you remember with Doctor Strange 2 last year they used that IMAX screening to show us the first trailer for Avatar 2 and show some exclusive looks at other films like Top Gun Maverick. So it looks like Guardians 3 is going to do something similar, having trailers from multiple upcoming films, including both Oppenheimer and Dune Part 2. But again, this will probably only be in IMAX if you want to see it in theatres, and I would presume that the trailer would release online as well. We'll have to see if this turns out to be the case, but it looks pretty likely that this is what's happening, and with Nolan specifically naming Guardians 3 as the place to be for the next Oppenheimer trailer, we can expect expect to see that sometime next week. But that was my video discussing the footage shown at CinemaCon and the likely trailer date for Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Overall, it sounds like people were really impressed with what the filmmaker showed at the event and with a new trailer likely coming next week, all of us who weren't at the event can be treated to new footage very soon. But based on the description and reactions to the footage that was shown at CinemaCon, does it get you even more excited for Christopher Nolan's latest film? Let me know down below in the comment section. For much more videos and news on Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex and as always, make some noise.